Right. Chelsea hoping to move back up towards the European places. They have invested hugely in their playing staff. West Ham walkouts amongst the bubbles at London Stadium. Their last two games have been much better than what came before. David Moyes names an unchanged starting 11 from the team that came from behind to draw at Newcastle last weekend. Lucas Fabianski plays behind the same back three. Now, Tilo Kira went off injured at half time at St James's Park, but he is back in time to start here. Ruben Loftus cheek makes his first appearance since November. He's alongside Enzo Fernandez, who makes his second appearance for the club. And there's a first start for Noni Majuke. Joe Felix is back too after his red card on his debut against Fulham. Good work from Antonio, who nearly intercepted. Now a bit of room for Reese James. Oh, and his intention is Joe Felix who's onside here, and Joe Felix hits the post, but gets the second bite of the cherry, and then the flag goes up. It takes a deflection. No, but he would have been off anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's a very close call, but I think he's marginally offside there. As you would expect from Joe Felix, plenty of composure and a cool head. And David Moyes, I think, wants to know whether Paqueta is going to be good enough to continue. Still a few careful touches in that shoulder area from Piquetta, suggesting that it's, uh, it's still feeling tender. That's good work from Enzo Fernandez, And he dug out the shot, couldn't quite get the bend on the end of it, but he looks like he means business today. Yeah, and Paqueta really hasn't been right, has he, since he took that tumble. He's tried to carry on, gamely, but I don't think anyone's been convinced that he's ever going to be OK. Reese James. Majuka showing good strength. Now he needs support. Mudrik. Bones hurt himself trying to win possession back for West Ham. He's gone down. The host temporarily playing with 10 men here. Enzo Fernandez. Joe Felix. Flag doesn't rise. No offside against Joe Felix. And Chelsea take the early lead in this London derby. It's a first goal for the club, for the Portuguese international. He had one ruled out earlier on, but this goal for Joao Felix stands. Well, yeah. And it's been so easy, really. I mean, Chelsea, for 16 minutes, have had the freedom of the park to roll the ball around from side to side, and then eventually here. Mudrik it is who does get the ball, but he may have clattered... Jared Bowen shins, look how much room they all have to take a touch, lift your head and find a teammate. And the run from Zhao Felix is timed to absolute perfection. Chelsea have a lead and, and they're strolling the game so far. Chelsea falling back into their rhythm, controlling the tempo of this game as they have done pretty much since the start. Graham Potter screams at Ready a shield to play it to Mudrik. Now that's another good ball and Havertz is in and no flag again. And Kai Havertz celebrations will be brought to a halt because the flag does rise with the ball in the back of the net. But it's the third time that Graham Potter's team have got in behind this West Ham defence. I mean, it's so easy. No, it's close. It's the right call. Which is Bowen. And he's got Ben Rama in the middle. Antonio too. And Antonio tried to flick it in. Good save from Kepa. It goes for a goal kick. And that's been the most nervous moment for Kepa Aretha Balaga in this game so far. Yep. Too much room there for Jarrod Bowen. If you watch, he just rolls this to Antonio, flicks it, goal bound, and it very nearly comes back to him off of Kepa's chest. Chelsea are allowed too much room. 40, 45 yards from goal. They look like they've got the, the movement and the ability to break this West Ham team down. Kukurea gives it away. Sochek. So foul back to Kira. 
Can West Ham get it in the mixer? Bowen with a dangerous flick on. That's a brilliant finish by Emerson against his former club. Emerson Palmieri draws West Ham United level again after a very well worked build up. It's his first Premier League goal for the club. The player who joined from Chelsea back in August. Allows to foul loads of room. That's a clever little flick on that from Jared Bowen. Temptation there is to maybe flick it towards the goal. Snap header towards the near post. But they're right back in it now. It's the immutable law of the X. Former players always come back to haunt their old team. These crossfield balls are being played very accurately by Chelsea. Rhys James. Duque, that was a good shot. Fabianski with a firm arm. And they haven't cleared it yet. Mudrik. Joe Felix. Another dangerous delivery. West Ham breathe a huge sigh of relief. Yeah, big stop that from Lucas Fabianski because Maduke hit that early. This time, look, when he gets it and shifts it onto the left foot, bang, hits that shot straight away, which is curling inside that far post. Thomas Socek's been a wonderful servant for West Ham in recent seasons, but a few little rusty moments today that perhaps point to why he's not starting matches at the moment. If you joined our coverage... As the game has developed. Oh, hang on, there's a mistake almost by Ogbonna. Fabianski, happy that that was cushioned in, but really good delivery from Rhys James. Yeah, he does this so well, Rhys James. Nice throw out from the goalie, nice and early. Declan Rice, urged to shoot. And it was a few feet wide of the target. Declan Rice, who has scored one Premier League goal this season, it came against Southampton in October. It will be Rhys James. It's flicked on. Oh. And that was not far away at all. Chelsea wants a corner and they're going to get it. Oh. It's come off Mikel Antonio, I think, in the end. Rhys James. Enzo Fernandez. Always in motion. Chilwell. Havertz, Chelsea's best build-up in some time. Like that, lovely football. Had real nice pace on that delivery from Ben Chilwell, didn't it? Invited Kai Havertz to get across the front of Ogbonna and make first contact, which he does really well. Unfortunately, just can't get the accuracy in that header, but that's nice football from Chelsea. That swept across the middle of the park, out to that left side. Emerson's delivery. Oh, Declan Rice is head of a save. But following up was Thomas Sochak. And West Ham United, having been 1 0 down, lead Chelsea 2 1 in what could be an enormous result if it stays like this. Declan Rice offside. He certainly looks it. He looks like he's offside there when that ball's delivered. My first reaction is he's just offside. I don't think there's any problem for Thomas Suchek. That's come back off the goalkeeper. Declan Rice looks to me there. Look, he's ahead of the pack. Is Paddy Shield's shoulder maybe influencing that, playing him onside? I don't know. But from that angle, it looks very much like this one's not going to count. It's off, says Graham Potter. Come on, get on with it. Nothing else to discuss, he says. And the officials agree with him. After some deliberation... The goal does not stand. Chilwell. Mount's made a good run ahead of him. Kira kept his body between, but Mount got there first. Havertz just couldn't arrive. This is Gallagher. Uh, now, did that come off an arm of Socek? Referee was close to it. He felt there is no handball case to answer here. Ooh, oh, it looks like it. Yeah, he's yeah, on yeah. his way down. That is his hand. No, that's a penalty. That has to be given. Rhys James. The referee blows the final whistle. And it's another draw for Chelsea. Three in a row now for Graham Potter. 
Chelsea's current run of form stretches to just one win in eight games now. Joe Felix with his first goal for his new club. He was one of the brighter sparks today. Chelsea couldn't add to their tally. Emerson against his old club for West Ham. And it finishes all square at London Stadium. West Ham United 1, Chelsea 1.